Christmas in the spring. Tra la la, the birds in bloom and flowers on the wing. Tra la la, do I believe their songs come see, come sound? Tra la la, I'll tell you when I see Paris. Voila. Oh, what a, what a, what a, what a, what a, there are girls in old Paris. What a, what a, what a, what a, what a, and the wine is flowing free. So, oh, 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 get along, my sweet Sherry, to the city that is never been called in, where the girls are very, very, very jolly, singing what a, what a, what a, what a, what a, say Paris. Good morrow, my friends. Good morrow. Grandfather, pull the cart aside so the uh, gentleman can pass. Don't bother, Mademoiselle. My horse and I have traveled far. It will do us no harm to rest. Can you tell me which road leads to Paris? This, this one, one over, over here. here. Oh, to be sure. Do either of you go my way? We are going to market to sell our hay if we have any left. Surely you do not grudge my poor horse a mouthful of hay, Mademoiselle. A mouthful would take more than a cartful to fill those ribs. Poor Sherry. Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> Sherry is a noble animal. She was a great charger in the day. She's carried me all the way from Gascony. Gascony? Oh, it's a long journey, eh? You go to Paris now? I go to join the King's Musketeers. A musketeer? Why not? My father was the bravest of all the King's Musketeers. I am the finest swordsman in Gascony. They do not breed my kind in Paris. You wait. I shall go far. You shall hear rumors of my fame. The name of D'Artagnan shall be known throughout the realm of France. <laughs> there the road. Get that mangy bundle of bones into the ditch. On guard! No painted puppet jay is going to call my horse a bundle of bones. If anyone takes it an inch of Lord, it'll be you. You impudent rascal. I'll teach you to mind your manners. <laughs> Thank you for your hospitality. Mademoiselle, if you should ever have need of my sword, it is at your service. A musketeer, indeed. Wada, 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 there the girls in old Paris. Wada, 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 and the wine is flowing free. So, all, 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 get along, my sweet Sherry, to the city that is never met in Coley, where the girls are very, very, very jolly, singing wada, 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 say Paris. Santos, my friend, what are you doing here? Why did you start to draw? I mistook you for a gentleman whom I am soon to have the pleasure of killing. Look at this. Sir, the tilt of your mustachios offends my taste. Please correct this at once, or give me satisfaction this evening at the Tavern Coq d'Or in the Rue signed D'Artagnan. I'll spit this insolent fellow like a bullet. Just a moment, my friend. I've come here to kill this upstart myself. You too? Read this. Sir, when walking on the public thoroughfare, you strut and posture like a peacock. Please abandon this habit or give me satisfaction at the Tavern Coat door this evening. Signed, D'Artagnan. Yeah, the young puppy, I'll cut him into cat's meat. Where is this brute, D'Artagnan? Portos, Portos, Aramis, why are you here? For the same reason as you. <laughs> so calm yourself, my friend. We'll kill this man before you have a chance at it. I protest. My right to kill him is paramount to any insult you may have received. Oh, no. Listen. Sir, the ostentation of your hat is altogether too effeminate to be endured. Discard it at once or give me satisfaction. Well, this D'Artagnan must be either a madman or a fool. Or a little of both. Whether he be knave or idiot, matters not to me. My sword will cure him of all his faults. Well, who is this fellow? I know him not. He's a young cadet, only today recruited into the musketeer. Doubtless trying to get himself a quick reputation as a firebrand. Mm. Ha! 
He'll get himself a quick coffin before I'm finished with him. Yeah, well, this fellow's beneath our nose. Let us drink while we wait. A good idea. Landlord! There's wine! The best the house affords! Pluck, 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 pluck all day long. As all this pot we stoop, we pluck, pluck, pluck and sing a song. As we make chicken soup, <laughs> with a pluck, pluck here and a pluck, pluck there. Here a pluck, there a pluck, nearly everywhere a pluck. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Some plucking, I'll say. Soup, 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 soup. We dream of soup every night. Soup, 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 soup. You are our supreme delight. With a bone and some beans, with some salt and some greens, we are making chicken soup. <laughs> with some corn and some rice, with some peas and some spice, we are making chicken soup. <laughs> Chicken soup! Chicken soup! <laughs> Look, you're putting the feathers in the soup! What the fool is this? Why put feathers in young cauldron? Why, we're just making a light chicken soup. Yeah, something to tickle your palate. Uh, it's riable! I know, Dad, we ordered wine. Move, fools! Which of you is wine boy? Hey, hey, hey. Where's the proprietor of this miserable inn? The proprietor. <laughs> the proprietor of this inn is out. <laughs> he left us in charge. I said wine, you sluggard. Shall we dismember them limb from limb and broil their haunches for our supper? No, 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 no
the remnants, His Majesty the King. Majesty. I trust the hunting was good today, sir. Bad. Very bad. But uh, I did not come here to discuss my ill luck at the chase. I am vexed with you, Monsieur le Cardinal. Oh, how have I been so unfortunate as to displease Your Majesty? I protest against your charge that my musketeers violate the edict against dueling, that they provoke fights with your guard, and that it was they who are responsible for that disgraceful brawl last night at the Luxembourg. But my statement was based on secure evidence, sir. The brawlers were musketeers. They were in uniform. I have reliable information that they were a party of your guardsmen dressed as musketeers. Does your majesty suggest that the gentlemen of my guard... Were... Exactly. Well, whoever has brought this charge, I assure your majesty, it is not true. However, I will investigate. I shall see to it that no such misunderstandings shall occur in the future. That will not be necessary, your evidence. I have seen to it myself. I have issued this edict. Even now, it is being posted all over Paris. What ho, fellow, what have you there? I must post these notices all about the city by order of the king. To the king! To the, to the king. Now read the proclamation. From this day, any person discovered garbed in the uniform of the king's musketeers without due authority shall be subject to the penalty of death. You mean there are actually persons going around impersonating the musketeers? If you see any such scoundrels, bring them to the provost at once. They shall die. Well, why will we'll tear them apart? We'll we'll cut them to ribbons. Why we'll we'll mow them down? <laughs> right, just a moment, sir. Uh, won't you have a spot of Moselle 1570? I don't mind if I do. Yes, sir. To the king. To the king. <laughs> to, to the king. Yes, sir, to the king. Policeman. Uh, you ladies are partners. Yes, we want to get into something more comfortable. <laughs> Gentlemen, I regret that I'm late for our appointment. I shall make up for having detained you by engaging all three of you at once. Come, gentlemen, on guard. I must stop the table. Ah! You made a mistake. We don't even know you. Of course not. This is no time for jesting. This morning, as I entered Paris, you chose to laugh at my horse. You received my challenges, otherwise you wouldn't be here. I demand satisfaction. Uh, we never saw you before in all our lives. Ah. I recognize the hat you're wearing. There's not another hat like it in all Paris. <laughs> on guard! Oh, 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 oh. Guardsmen, there are musketeers fighting in there. Musketeers, eh? How many of them? Four. All right, men, follow me. Perhaps I am mistaken. The man with the hat was very tall, taller than you. Sure you're mistaken, he's very short. Right now I'm the tallest midget in the world. <laughs> I see now that I was mistaken. A thousand pardons. Don't mention it, sir. My name is D'Artagnan, and what's yours? A whiskey and soda. <clears throat> hola, hola! Musketeers fighting? And the edicts, what of them? Bah, edicts or no edicts? When would a soldier interfere in an affair of honor among gentlemen? Oh, monsieur, it's seldom that the cardinal's guards are privileged to arrest four of his majesty's musketeers. But we weren't dueling. Tell that to the provost. No guardsman is going to arrest me. Musketeers, charge them. Charge them. Yeah. 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 Come, come. Don't you want to fight? No, no. we don't want to fight. I'm 
up to his head. <laughs> In fact, I'll take his head off. <laughs> oh. Ah, yes, I'll kill him. You heard me, I'll kill him. <laughs> no. my friend. I am the one who should tremble. Yes, why do you tremble? What do you want? I regret that I must place you under arrest. For what? Don't pretend. You know that with Paris so crowded, the law requires you to register every vacant room in your house. There are no vacant rooms here. We'll see. It'll go hard with you if you're lying. What does the registrar's report say? Oh, the, regi the registrar's... Oh, the Re registrar's oh, report. Yes, yes the registrar's report. It says that the uh, second floor bedroom is uh, empty. The second floor belongs to my ward, Lady Constance. 
She's a lady in waiting to the queen. Aha! Then she lives at the palace. Your own words convict you. You've grossly violated the law. To the Bastille with it. To the Bastille. Oh, oh, gentlemen, please. I will do anything. What is the price? And remember, the law deals severely with anyone who charges excessive rents. Oh, I won't charge any rent at all, my lord. Not a sou. This way, gentlemen, follow me. Oh, well, I guess we'd better be getting home. Yes, I was up late last night with the Duchess. Well, why not spend the night here? You three can have the bed and I'll take the sofa. No, we've got to get back to the tavern. The tavern? Yes, sir. We've got to get back and carry these uniforms. Well, what's wrong with the uniforms? Well, you see, he needs... Uh, they need pressing and the boots cleaned. <laughs> Uniform regulations, you understand. Oh, I see. You mean inspection by the company yeah, commander. Yes, yes. Well, good yes. night, gentlemen. Good night. We'll good meet night. again. Uh, uh, not if we can help it. Anyhow, not in these uniforms. Yes. What are you doing? Getting rid of these clothes before they catch us and hang us. You can't take them off here. Come on, back to the tavern. I can feel the noose around my neck right now. Well, don't worry, no nooses. Good noose. Don't be frightened. Who are you? I am D'Artagnan, in His Majesty's service, and now at yours, madame. What are you doing here? I might ask you the same question. This is my apartment. Oh, then you are Lady Constance, lady-in-waiting to the Queen. Who I am does not concern you. Since it is obvious you expect someone, and believe me, madame, I envy him, I shall take my leave. No, no, you stay here. I'll go. Please, madame. Permit me to go. I am the intruder. As you will, then, but make haste. Madame, I am a crude Gascon. I know nothing of fine words. But you are of such beauty and grace that I never hope to see its like. Go now, go quickly. As you wish, madame. In the name of heaven, my lord, flee while there's yet time. Who is this man? I don't know. I, I found him here in my room. Is this a trick? There is but one way to deal with spies. Stop! You must not fight this man. He is his grace, the Duke of Buckingham. How dare the enemy of France masquerade as a musketeer? On guard, whoever you are! Gentlemen! My lord, who is this man? I am D'Artagnan, Your Majesty, of the King's Musketeers. My sword is at your service. Monsieur, we need your prudence more. What does this mean? The Duke of Buckingham is an enemy of France. He must be arrested at once. No, no, I beg of you. No one must know he's here. Why is the Queen with our greatest enemy? Her Majesty had no choice. Buckingham came secretly from London and insisted on seeing her. For the peace of France, she fears to offend him. D'Artagnan, I beg for your silence. I am Her Majesty's servant, and yours. Tonight, my friend, we do not belong to ourselves, but to our Queen. You've blundered upon a dangerous secret. You must keep it sacred as your life. This is madness. You must leave Paris this very night. The Cardinal spies are everywhere, and they will kill you if they find you. If you should die in France because of your love of me, nothing could console me. If you loved me, I could leave life happily. I've never told you that I love you. No, but you have never told me that you do not. Everything separates us. The depths of the sea, the enmity of kingdoms, the sanctity of vows. It is sacrilege to even talk of love. Go, I implore you. Go from me. 
give up all thought of me. We must never see each other again. I shall go. But first, may I beg some pledge of your indulgence? Some object that you have worn, that I may wear too, so that I shall not look upon this night as only a dream. Dear my lord, take this in remembrance of things that can never be. Surely you realize the seriousness of the charge you've just made against Her Majesty? If it were to prove false, you would pay with your head for high treason. Oh, I wouldn't dare to deceive your eminence. Every word I've told you is true. Before heaven, I swear it. I believe you. You haven't the head for conspiracy. Return to your home. Keep your ears and eyes open and your lips sealed. Thank you, your eminence. Yes, your eminence. I understand, your eminence. Thank you, your eminence. I knew that someone close to the throne was conspiring with England, but I didn't dream it might be the Queen. The truth is obvious to Rochefort. The Queen and Buckingham are plotting a war, a war between England and France. And our loyal Queen is allied with her brother, the King of Spain, to bring about the downfall of France. As a pledge, she has given him the brooch. Your eminence must advise the King at once. No, no, no. We must move cautiously where the welfare of France is concerned. You see, the king has two ears, one for the queen and one for me. So I must have proof. The jewel. The jewel, Her Majesty's emerald brooch. A gift from the people of France, found on Buckingham's person. Now get that brooch. Spread a net round my Lord Buckingham. He must not leave Paris. Sound the curfew. Mount extra guards. Let no man pass the gates of but Paris. But, Your Eminence... Uh, You're wasting time, De Rochefort. Begun. Yes, Your Eminence. Musketeer. You have earned eternal rights to my gratitude. I shall never forget. You were too kind, Your Majesty. It would be a privilege to die for such a queen. God grant that may never be necessary. Good night and thank you. How can I see you again? Please, Her Majesty is waiting. Name the place and hour, I implore you. I won't need you anymore tonight, Constance. Shall we walk in the garden? Her Majesty has almost commanded it. The Queen's approval makes you very sure of yourself. We Gascons are always sure of ourselves. When we fight, we fight with all our strength. And when we love, we love with every fiber of our being. And that is how I love you. Come, monsieur. You speak too quickly of love. You've known me only a few hours. No. I've known you as long as I've lived. I close my eyes and I see you as I dreamed of you when I was a lad. I open them again and I see you here a hundred times more beautiful. That's a very pretty speech. Who wrote it? Shakespeare. <laughs> no, you know better than to woo a maid with borrowed phrases. How should I ever believe your words? I'm a man without tact. Very matter of fact. I never try doing a love song. No one's heard of me singing. It's absurd of me singing. Birdies all do it, but they're used to it. Every dove has his dove song. So if I sing to you, here is the best I can do. I'd love to sing a song to you, my lady, to woo you as the poets do, my lady. A tender word, a pretty rhyme, a well-turned phrase. And I would have a song sublime to sing your praise. And if my song could make you say you love me, then heaven would be bright above me. We 
with words and music straight from my heart. My song would tell my love for you, my lady. Tra-la-la, sing a song to a beauty so rare. Tra-la-la, sing a song to her lips and her hair. Tra-la-la, I believe that I've got something there. So sweet, so fair. And if my song could make you say you love me, then heaven would be bright above me with words and music straight from my heart. My song would tell my love for you, my lady. When shall I see you again? Tomorrow, perhaps. How? I'll find you or send to you. Good night, my Gasco. And if my song could make you say you love me, then heaven would be bright above me with words and music straight from my heart. My song would tell my love for you, my lady. Still watching the inn. What are we going to do? Let's get out of here. Oh, Daddy. You can't do that here. Dost thou forget the nude law? No, nay. I'm not going to wear this garb another moment. Oh. Oh. I'm ambushed. We're kings, musketeers on parade. Comrade Strong, we're marching along. We're kings, musketeers, unafraid. Fighting at the drop of a hat. Here's to fate, here's to chance. Get behind and cover my pants. It's one for all and it's two for five and it's me and our friends. We're kings, musketeers, so beware. If we live or we die, who's to care? Sail a bee, sail a moor, sail again. Lady Winter. Count the Rochefort you sent for me? I fear that Buckingham's escape from Paris despite our vigilance. In that case, we'll try to take the first available boat from Calais. We want you to go to Calais immediately. Watch and take passage on the same boat. You will obtain, by what means you can, the emerald brooch which Buckingham is carrying on his person. I quite understand. That should be possible for you. But there's no time to be lost. Away with you, and remember, don't come back without that brooch. I shall not fail. To the city that is never better cold, where the girls are very, very, very jolly, singing voila, 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 say Paris. The guards, the guards, the guards. Oh, you. Oh. Who is it? It's I. Constance. D'Artagnan, we've been betrayed. The Cardinal knows of the Queen's meeting with Buckingham. He's even been told that she gave him the brooch. But that's not possible. Only the four of us knew. Nouveau, my guardian. He must have seen and heard everything that took place in this room last night. You can settle with him later. Now we must think of the Queen. What can be done? What can I do? Follow Buckingham to London. Bring back the Queen's brooch. Richelieu has asked the King to have her wear it at the Cardinal's ball. And the Queen shall wear it. I have three friends, musketeers. 
Stout fellows and brave fighters. They will gladly give up their lives for the queen. They will go with me. Isn't that wonderful? He's got three musketeers who will protect the queen. He <laughs> means us. Whoa. Give this letter to the Duke of Buckingham. It will explain everything. Assure Her Majesty that I shall do my utmost. May God protect you. Musketeers, come on. Gentlemen, you have heard what we must do. We go to serve, perhaps to die for the queen. Die? Yes, to die for the queen is to die gloriously. Dying? That's pretty plain of it. And it'll last a long time. Think of it, gentlemen. To be of all the musketeers, the four selected to die for the queen. This is indeed our lucky day. Lucky lucky day. day. Yeah. <laughs> gentlemen, we must not tarry. On to Calais. On to Calais, yeah. On to Calais. We're always going. Calais, here we go. Calais. <laughs> Thank you, monsieur. Very sorry, thank you, monsieur. Thank you, monsieur. You wish to come take it off here, monsieur? Yes. was this? I'm sorry. Yeah. Four musketeers traveling together would arouse suspicion. The cardinal spies are everywhere, therefore the trunk. Yeah, the trunk. Your friend is in trouble. You better help him out. Wait a minute. Get that hook. You'll hurt him. Comrade, we're safe in Calais and soon we'll be sailing for England. Hmm? You men wait here while I go over and question the captain of that channel boat yonder. Channel boat? Channel boat, that's where they are. That's a channel boat! Yes, right. I'll kill him! Yes! I fought him! I know! They backed me all right the wall! And I gave it all to him! Yes. I gave it all to Thank you, Captain. This just came by pigeon post, my lady. Have accommodations been made for me at the tavern? Yes, my lady. This note is most urgent. Have my coach waiting. I leave for Paris as soon as I've dined. Yes, my lady. sail back to England, Captain. On the next tide. But I'm forbidden to take passengers without a special passport from the Cardinal. Or to land them either. I was just handed the order. But that lady who just left your ship. She must be a very great lady. She carries papers both from France and from England. Would you give her entry anywhere? I think you'll find my papers as impressive. I, uh, I left them in my luggage at the inn. I'll present them to you before you sail. Very well, sir. Come in. Ye silver dolphin service, madame. Something to stay your appetite. Serve it over there. What's 
the meaning of this? Pull up a chair and dive in. I shall report you three knaves to the landlord. Four of Why not have a drink? Have two drinks. Have three? You're paying for it. Don't touch me or I'll scream. She'll scream if we touch her. <laughs> Stop! Is that the loudest you can scream? <laughs> a little loud. What? My friends, now go ahead, jump. Jump! Hey, I've got him jumping now. I've never jumped. Run! Run! Away! Be gone, you jackals, or I'll crack your head! I'll teach you to insult a lady! I'm at your service, madame. You're a very brave man. And I thank you for what you've done. It is I who should be grateful to be of service to one so lovely. But no doubt you wish to rest. I shall not intrude longer. Oh, no, 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 no. Please stay, monsieur. Those ruffians may return. Won't you share my small meal with me? I should be honored. Ah, horses. Say, now's the chance to get away from that musketeer before he'll get us all killed. Or else puts us back in the trunk. Can't stride a horse? Can't. Mm -hmm. Come on. And what adventure brings a king's musketeer to Calais? I'm on leave for my company. And I wanted to see London. When do you sail? I'm afraid I won't be allowed to sail at all. There's been a new order. No one can embark without a special passport from the Cardinal. I have a special passport from the Cardinal. Perhaps I may lend it to you. Madame, it's too kind. Oh, not at all. You've served me at risk of your life. But this passport, uh, is, isn't it made out for a woman? No. It merely serves to pass bearer and to make sure you'll get safely back from London. I'll lend you this one, too, signed by the Duke of Buckingham. Oh, I don't know how I can ever repay you. I, uh, I think this may not be our last meeting. I humbly implore that it will not be. When you return to Paris, you'll come to see me. Whom shall I expect? Oh, my name? D'Artagnan. D'Artagnan. And your name? Lady de Winter. Oh, the ship's bells. A warning to sail. I must go. I shall count the moments until I see you again. The soldier only hurries because of duty or maybe love. Madame does me too much honor. What? Where did you get that? Why do you ask? Why, uh, it was so magnificent. The workmanship is so, so extraordinary. Where did it come from? It, uh, it was a gift. From the Duke of Buckingham? Why do you say that? Well, your, your passport is from Buckingham. <laughs> what an impetuous man you are. You've only known me half an hour, and already you're taking the airs of a jealous lover. Well, does that offend the lady? No. That is all I care to hear you say. I shan't need your passports. I'm going to escort you back to Paris. I thought you said you wanted to see London. Since I have met you, my lady, I've lost my appetite for London. Besides, a woman should not be traveling alone with such a valuable jewel. It would be dangerous. It would appear that you're more concerned with this jewel than with myself. Oh, no. It is your safety that concerns me, my lady. Then let us go. My coach is waiting. D'Artagnan, you know you're really very handsome. My lady. I know not what the angels in heaven are like, but when they come down to earth, they must surely be as you are now. Uh, that's Shakespeare, isn't it? This gentleman will escort me to Paris.
My lady, one of the wheels is loose. Have it fixed immediately. There must be no delay. Yes, my lady. My lord, please give Vera the emerald brooch. My life depends on it. And what a pity. If I'd had this letter in London, the Duke of Buckingham's valet might still be living. I suppose you plan to kill me, too? Oh, no. You're much too attractive to kill. Of course, unless it's strictly necessary. You know, I could almost envy your Constance, even in her present adversity. Adversity? Has something happened to Constance? Oh, no. But in case something might happen to her, his eminence has had her put away. Put away? Yes, yeah, she's in his chateau at Amber's. We'll pause there on our way to Paris. But I fear that uh, you won't be allowed to see her. We have made temporary repairs, my lady. There's an inn a few leagues ahead, and we can stop there and have the wheel properly mended. All right, but hurry, hurry. Yes, my lady. and some liniment. Pillows? Won't you care for food and drink? Yes, we'll have food too, but serve it up here. Oh. Will milady care to rest at the tavern while we fix the wheel? No. But uh, place our guest over here beside me. Look, the lady from Calais. You see what I see? D'Artagnan, hands and feet all tied up like a magistrate. Well, here we go again. They'll hang us yet. It's a job for a blacksmith. The innkeeper will know where there is one. My friend, we stay here for a while, and may I suggest that you make no effort to attract attention? There's no one here. Are you growing impatient? Oh, none at all. I find your company most charming. I knew you wouldn't fail me. <laughs> oh, I know you don't. Get that purse. The brooch is in it. I'll have you hanged and quartered for this. Now, my lady, where's that letter you filched from me? Take it if you dare. What are we going to do? Maybe if we got some pepper and made her sneeze. Uh, how would it be if we sort of closed our eyes and no, gave out? No, no, I know what you're thinking about, but that's not the proper solution. After all, we're musketeers and gentlemen. Nevertheless, I must have that letter. Well, we'll get it for you. All right, but remember the code. You'll do nothing undignified. Oh, don't worry ahead about that. <laughs> What's the horses? Well, we'll, we'll, my lovely <laughs> one! <clears throat> <clears throat> Oh, 
God! See, quiet! That burn was love for you. Meet me in the summer house at midnight. <laughs> it's the wrong note. Try it again. I'm hearing me! Let <laughs> out! Steve! Hold it! Help! Hold it! <sighs> Wonderful you. My lips still tingle with your kisses. Meet me under the apple tree. She's a walking post office. I know, but... <laughs> Try it again. Oh, no. I'm hearing me, villain! Wow. The stars above me! <laughs> Hold it! This is it. At ease, my lady. At ease. Let's go. Here it is. Oh, that's great. I'm sure you're all gentlemen, so I won't ask you how you got it. Oh, no, no, oh, sure. Paris. Now, on to Paris. But first, we stop at the Cardinal Chateau at Amber's. Each one, get yourselves a horse. Well, grab yourself oh, a horse. What again? What again? A tender word, a pretty rhyme, a well-turned phrase. And I would have a song sublime to sing your praise. And if my song could make you say you love me, then heaven would be bright. My song would tell my love for you, Bravo! I'm caught. Who are these ragged songbirds? A troop of minstrels, Captain. Oh, we were just going. Yeah, yes, we were going. We're going. going. Now, just a minute. We may wish entertainment tonight. Come with me. Make ready the Cardinal's carriage. His eminence will leave for Paris as soon as Lady de Winter arrives. Lady de Winter? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are those minstrels? Bring them on. Luck is with us. Constance is somewhere in this castle and I'll find her. Make such a din, the guards will hear nothing of what I do. Keep it up and louder.
go any further. Remember, it's for the queen. The queen. <laughs> Cardinal's furious. I got here as soon as I could. Never mind. Give me the brooch. I'll take it to him. I haven't got it. I was robbed. What? Why, there they are. Whoa! Whoa! Stop them. Arrest those men. Change the horses, immediately. None of these men have the brooch, Monsieur Count. Where's the other one? Was there a fourth? There was, but he disappeared. Oh, you fool! He's gone to rescue Lady Constance. Find him and we'll find the brooch. Close the gates. Let no one out of here. Hold those men. The rest of you follow me. Search the upper floors. Report to His Eminence. Tell him the brooch is safe within these walls. Betray the cardinal's servant. Here, you. What are you doing with the cardinal's cloak and hat? Quiet. Before you die where you stand. Now you do and speak exactly as I tell you. If you make one false move, it'll be your last. Y yes, sir. We're taking the cardinal's coach. Have the three prisoners placed in the carriage. Eminence. His Eminence is leaving for Paris at once. The coach is waiting. Have the three prisoners placed in a coach. Yes. Your Eminence. with his eminence and milady. Open the gates! Tell the mounted escort and the footman to wait here. They will follow later with Count de Rochefort. Yes, out! I thought I put his eminence in his coach with my lady. They left for Paris. You fool, I'll have you. Keep quiet, keep quiet. We're too late. They've obviously escaped us. The horse, after them. I cloak. Oh. oh, your eminence, we're sorry we did it. Oh, your eminence, it was our fault. Oh. 
Oh, you ran running and skip and start turning. You... <laughs> Look, it's our friend Batania. Uh. <laughs> I knew it all the time. No, 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 no. You know word of Constance? None, Your Majesty. Our messengers have searched everywhere. Perhaps that is she. I regret to delay, Your Majesty, but... It's been no inconvenience, my dear. There is no hurry. Oh. Well... You look pale. You are not ill. No, I, I am not ill, sire. Yet I am not well. I wish this ball might go on without my presence. <laughs> well, my dear, that's hardly possible. You see, the Cardinal will be offended if you don't at least make an appearance at this ball. You needn't remain long, you know. As Your Majesty wishes. Well, shall we say in half an hour? Oh, uh, yes. You won't forget to wear the emerald brooch, please. Well. Green is hardly appropriate for this costume. Yes, I know. I know, I quite agree with you, but uh, you forget that the brooch is a gift of the people of France, and by some whim, the Cardinal is making quite a point having you wear it tonight. Cardinal and his whims. Yes, yes, I quite agree with you. You better wear it, my dear. It's so much simpler, eh? In half an hour, then. Any news? No, Your Eminence, we haven't got them yet, but have no fear. Not even a mouse will get into the palace tonight. Last night, the mice made a fool of you. Once I can forgive, twice would be unpardonable. It will not happen again, Your Eminence. I have a score of my own men at each gate. Not one foot of the city wall is left unguarded. I'm not concerned with methods, only results. The emerald brooch must not be returned tonight. It will not be returned, Your Eminence. I'll stake my life on that. Count Rochefort says no one shall pass the gate tonight. Not even the Pope of Rome. And no one shall pass. Ah. Arms. Arms for the poor. Gentlemen, help an old man who's feeble and hungry. Get away, old fellow. No one is permitted near the palace tonight. Be gone. But look, 
Gentlemen, I haven't eaten. Nothing has passed these parched lips for days. Please I have gone, oh. I tell you. Oh, gentlemen! <laughs> Man is mad with hunger. Count to Rochefort. You've done so many chase, but now it's over. I'll take that brooch, Lady Constance. You wish the brooch? Then come and take it. Watch the girl. I wish the pleasure of killing this upstart myself. You should leave such talk to us Gascons, monsieur. We can match our boasts with our deeds. On guard! Your sword, monsieur. Ready, my dear? In a moment, sire. Celeste, my fan. Pardon, sir. I notice Her Majesty has forgotten to wear her emerald brooch. Shall I send a lady in waiting for it? Her Majesty should wear it tonight of all nights, lest the people should think the gift is spurned. <coughs> uh, Madame. What a beautiful jewel, Your Majesty. It is most becoming. You should never part with it. <coughs> Madame. 